American Environmental Review is a national platform where nature and technology meet, where protecting and preserving our precious resources take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the environmental innovators. This editorial series, featured on public television, takes an inside look at the outdoors, explores how the decisions we make today impact each of our tomorrows. Bond Tech Corporation was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to the environment in which we live. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. We're learning more each day about how fragile our environment is. In this story, we take a look at one of the newest developments helping us to take better care of it. Exposure to infectious diseases is considered an occupational hazard by those who work closely with patients such as doctors and nurses. But the possibility of becoming infected isn't limited to physicians and their support staff. Medical waste generated in hospitals puts healthcare personnel from housekeepers to waste haulers at risk. We're dealing with people with various illnesses and injuries and in that process we're going to generate blood and body fluids, we're going to generate pathogens and things that are contaminating to our society and to our environment. Um, our greatest concern is that we treat that waste properly and do not allow that waste to get into our ecological system. The management and disposal of medical waste has long been a controversial issue. In the late 1980s, we began to see some medical waste items washing up on coast along the northeastern shore of the United States and in Florida as well. In Florida, in the early 1990s, developed a regulation that requires biomedical waste to be handled in such a way as to minimize the threat of exposure to humans. This consists of proper packaging, transport, and treatment to render the waste non-infectious. Incineration has been one of the most commonly used practices to treat medical waste, but over the years alternative methods have been developed. We had, of course, environmental concerns with the release of toxic gases, the heavy metals in the ash, as well as the problems with the actual operation of the equipment and the risk that our employees were exposed to when using an incinerator. To handle the enormous amounts of medical waste that are generated daily, most hospitals have their own treatment facility. In choosing such a system, cost has always played as much a factor as the level of sanitation a unit promises to provide. But today, many healthcare facilities are in search of more environmentally safe systems, such as the autoclave, which sanitizes medical waste in a vacuum chamber with high temperature steam. The medical waste is, is transferred into the autoclave system. Once the autoclave door is closed and the operator presses a single push button, the programmable logic controller takes over. The objective for the pre-vacuum is to create a vacuum inside the chamber to prepare the waste for the next step, which is the steam injection. As a result of the pre-vacuum, it allows the steam to penetrate effectively and efficiently through the waste to bring the center temperatures up quickly. Then it stays there for a specific soak period. That steam is flushed through a condenser that is condensed and drained to sewer. Therefore, we have no steam released to atmosphere. The final step is the post vacuum. The advantage of doing that is you control nuisance odors and you eliminate occupational exposure to process steam. Since we've changed out from incineration to the new unit that we have now, we have uh, currently been inspected by the Alabama Department of Environmental Management on a number of occasions and found that we have absolutely no deficiencies in our operation and in fact they are now using our facility as an example of how an operation should be run. Releasing hazardous toxins to help fight the spread of disease is a trade-off many believe we cannot afford. In answer, a growing number of technologies are being designed to make the sanitation of medical waste a practice that is safer for our health as well as the environment in which we live. Thanks for tuning in today. Join us again as we continue to explore how people and technology can work together to better protect our planet.
Bontech Corporation has been manufacturing medical waste treatment systems since 1983. Today we are the world's largest manufacturer and supplier of the high volume commercial plants throughout the world. Since 1983, we've realized and capitalized on the learning experience of the high volume facilities that we've scaled down and made some small systems for hospitals as well. I hope you enjoyed the short television segment and we really look forward to hearing from you to solve any of your medical waste treatment and disposal needs. Thank you. John F. Kennedy once said, the supreme reality of our time is the vulnerability of our planet. It is a timeless statement. World population, consumption, and technology push forward, often more quickly than natural resources can support, or with consequences more costly than we can afford. The need for a unified effort to nurture, renew, and protect the planet has never been more compelling. Therefore, once again, American Environmental Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's environmental challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.